guys how you doing so um this is not a cooking video but i will be cooking while talking to you guys um because i want to i'm hungry for one let me make sure because my mama don't like when people be in her business so we gotta make sure the camera is right all right so um oh Today, I'm going to be talking about this topic, okay? Interracial relationships. So if you're following me, you know that I am in an interracial relationship with my lovely man, Michael. But why am I doing a video about this? Because Spirit's been telling me to do a video about this. I've had this conversation twice now, okay? In a week. Um, with two different parties and Spirit's just been telling me to just talk about it Okay, I'm back. So I pretty much have everything that I need Except for a knife All right, we ready Um, so interracial relationships why am I talking about this besides the fact that I'm in an interrelationship myself and I've had my own experiences and I've learned a lot um I find that I need to talk about things while I'm in a certain state or I just won't do it at all. I recently got asked on two separate occasions like if I ever um, received like the <clears throat> comments of what I should be doing as a black woman like you know what I mean like as a black woman I should be dating within my race. Um, I've heard a lot of different opinions about it, especially in the beginning of my relationship, especially within the spiritual community, um, how they feel about it. I've heard that it is unnatural. I've heard that if you are dating outside of your race, <clears throat> that um, you lack self-love, you're neglecting a part of yourself, you're rejecting a part of yourself. And none of that has ever been true for me. Like I've never resonated with that um because it's just never been my particular truth not to say that that's not the case in some instances right it's just not mine um <clears throat> so you know on this journey of self because that's really what the fuck it is there's been like so much information okay i should probably look down while i do this so much information that's been put out there and it just causes so much fucking confusion so for the whole like um if you're dating outside of your race then you're lacking some sort of self-love um it's unnatural blah 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 all that shit let me just start off with we don't give a fuck we just don't give a fuck when I say we, listen to what I have to say first because we don't all fall under the umbrella of the we, okay? For those of us who are self-aware, we don't give a fuck, okay? Um, this has been a theme throughout my entire relationship, okay? Everybody has always had an opinion on my fucking relationship. <laughs> Down to my mother, the people around me, other family members, like, I've heard it all. I've heard it all. So now I'm very much immune to outside opinions, especially when it comes to like this. But really what it's taught me is a lot about myself. Um, it's my relationship in, in itself has really just directed me f further towards me, like towards myself, because although I... Um, within my relationship and being with who I am with never had to do with um, a deficient part of myself which lacked self-love um, I did find another aspect of deficiency within myself that wasn't pertaining to that aspect but was pertaining to another part of me that I wasn't aware of like I've heard it all like opinions from my mom I think in the beginning of my relationship like one of the things that stood out was like you know, everybody had, like, an opinion 
about it um i remember my mom even telling me like she didn't want any um mixed grandchildren and in the beginning that stung you know what i mean but like now i truly don't give a fuck because now everybody just has to get with the fucking program or get out you know what i mean um obviously now like almost two years in like we're at a stage where like everyone is loved and welcomed okay <laughs> uh, michael comes over all the time he's invited to all the freaking family functions family get-togethers and shit like that's just my road dog but it took a while for me to get to a place of not actually giving a fuck about these opinions and understanding what something meant to me so really the basis of this video is that like even when you hear xyz even when the entire world thinks something you still have to decipher what that means for you because you're actually the one experiencing it but the aspect of deficiency that i actually um that that i that was actually discovered to me wasn't that i was lacking self-love um per se in that area it was the fact that I was so heavily attached to the identity that I was programmed to. You see what I'm saying? So I was raised in a very like pro-black household, raised by a single mother, like, yeah, like that. So there was things that was, you know, instilled in me from a young age. And so I had to like detach from this um created identity and actually realized that well for real for real i don't actually have a singular identity like therefore i'm not actually tiana like i'm just experiencing her so yeah i'm in this body but this isn't me for real for real you know what i mean this is just the fucking character that I'm playing while I'm here right now. So. It went through many phases. Because in my relationship, like I said, like I was raised in a very pro-black household. So there was a lot of like layers of that. Um, not to say that there was anything wrong with it or anything it was just the freaking attachment to that identity like that was who i thought i had to be because that was the programming that i was under um you know like i was programmed to be stuck in this state where freaking i'm easily offended because i've been made to be easily offended by shit around me like especially as a black woman like you know what i mean i was made to be triggered by things like and there and very well i am actually being triggered by these things um and so there's a part of me that was like tethered to this ideology that like you know what i, I need to be offended you know what i need it like you know so that's the agenda you know they want to keep us in that state and that was very much the state that i was in, in the beginning of my relationship and so you know we, we were very i was very much on gatekeeping you know, like, um, this shit is not for you. Stay over there. <laughs> Stay in your lane. Um, and I'm not necessarily opposed to that either. But all I'm saying is that I was identifying too heavily with this physical state, with this body and this character that I'm playing. That I, I forgot that way. This isn't actually me. Like, I just, I'm just experiencing Tiana right now. Like, ugh remember and so i began to detach from those ideologies i began to detach from things that were meant to offend and trigger and hurt and all those freaking deficiency um survival antics that i've been programmed to react to i don't react to them no more because i i understand that if i'm not actually tiana and this isn't really my body for real the fuck am I getting mad at this shit that was made to make me fucking mad at? Right? So now I have a different perspective. Ooh. Now I 
now I have a fucking different perspective because I'm no longer just reacting. I'm responding. Meaning I am choosing how I want to deal with a situation. Like, I'm not just reacting. Reacting is a state of survival that, you know, you, you get into when you feel like you need to protect yourself. I ain't on that shit, though. I'm in control. Like, and that's what... I needed to remind myself and that was the epiphany of this reflection within my relationship and that's exactly what it has and always been was a reflection down to the physicalities of the fact that I'm a black woman and you're a white man but really like we're just experience e experiencing each other so all I what I needed from him Cause like, let's be honest, the work has to be done on both ends. What I truly needed from Michael was self-awareness. And that is what you need out of any fucking partner, regardless of their race. You know what I mean? Gender, whatever, the, whatever it is, is self-awareness. Are you self-aware? Cause that's really what I need. You know that there's nothing to get offended by. You know that the truth is just the fucking truth like that's just what it is it's not if you're getting offended then there's something within yourself that you need to adjust because it just is what it is it's not about who's more important who's less important who's superior it's just it just is let that sink in for a second while i while i cut this up like it just is it's just the fucking truth so a big part of being self-aware is accepting your fucking truth. And that's what I needed from him because guess what? Yeah, you might not be in your um you might not actually be your body, but you chose the body that you came here in. So while you are in this body, I need you to be aware of your privilege. I need you to be aware of the way that you will be perceived in this world because we will never experience the same things. So I need us to be aware of that difference. You feel me? Once you feel me on that, we can move forward because you're in a state of acceptance, not a state of denial, self-denial, okay? And that's truly what I needed. And that's just something that a lot of people don't understand. Like, it was never about no fucking, I don't love myself and I don't love my people. Bro, my longest relationship was four years with a so-called black man. My relationship, my first relationship was also with a black man. Like, it's not about that. I've always fucking loved my people. I've always loved my black men. I've always loved my black women. Like, we fucking lit. The fuck? And so me being with who I'm with and me being able to love Michael was just showing me how much... I was able to love myself, like for real, for real. Like the fact that I'm able to love you and you're different than me just shows me how accepting that I am of my actual self. You see how that works? Like one thing that I had to learn is like, especially within the spiritual community, like y'all be heavy on that. Y'all be heavy on that fucking agenda shit too. Like, I seen it with the veganism shit. I seen it with the fucking polygamy bullshit. Like, we all gotta be under one fucking umbrella when that's not the case. We're not all under, we're not all at the same state of mind. We're not all, like, at the same fucking level of shit. We're not all experiencing life the fucking same. So why would you assume that because that shit is taking place over there, that that's what's taking place over here? Because that's what it looks like to you. Nah, you ain't in this shit. You ain't in this pot. You ain't experiencing it. You ain't tasting my food. So how the fuck would you know? The fuck? So don't assume. And so now, I don't really give a fuck. Because let's be honest, regardless of how you feel, I'm not about to sit down with every fucking person that feels that way about what I got going on. Like, I'm just not. Maybe I'll refer them to this video, though, <laughs> now that I'm making it. But yeah, like, so that was just proof to me that I needed to take a break from all the fucking information that was being put out because it was so misleading. It was so misleading to me. Um, 
I'm not a person who truly believes in good and bad. So what is good to me is what feels good to my spirit. Okay? What I want to experience is what I'm going to have. Like, that's what I'm going to be doing. The fuck what spirit wants, spirit fucking gets. Like, that's just what it is. And that's what happened. I wanted my man. We got together. Like, spirit literally craved the man. Like, I wanted him. He wanted me. We fucking got together. Who are you to tell me about my fucking experience? I came here in this body to experience some shit. Right now, this is what the fuck I'm experiencing. And it is lit as fuck. So, yeah. Like, that's just, that's just the, men the mentality, the perspective that I choose to really embody. Because that's what fucking makes sense to me. So, all them fucking, like, posts about... If you're dating outside of your race, blah, 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 blah. fuck that shit. How do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? Where, Where is it coming from within your heart space? Is it coming from a place where you're actually denying parts of yourself? You fail to see the beauty within black women because it's parts of you that you still haven't nurtured yet? Then that's the truth. That's the basis of why you neglect that area that's not my fucking truth and i'm sick of y'all trying to trying to say that we're all fucking the same like we're not all the fucking same i'm not there <laughs> okay this is like this is old news at this point but when i just got into my relationship like i was dealing with this shit heavy and like i told one of my friends that i was speaking to like it affected like my self-identity how i felt about myself how i thought about myself and questioning like all oh, that shit girl you're just here to experience and you are experiencing and it like i just feel like people take things so fucking seriously they take themselves too seriously and they forget that they're actually just playing a game and they like they literally identify with with the with the vessels and the bodies and the people that that are in their lives in that they're experiencing now like shit can change like this i can be tiana looking like this today tomorrow i can have new hair feeling new looking new smelling new being new you feel me and that's just how it is so allow yourself the freedom to shift change morph whatever the fuck it is um but yeah if spirit wants him or her give spirit what it wants it just wants the experience allow yourself that freedom and fuck the fucking judgment nobody can truly tell you about your experience especially because you're experiencing it so it's just proof that only you can really guide yourself what is good is what feels good to your spirit okay and that's pretty much all i have to say guys so I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.